For a second straight day, a national conservative group released an embarrassing hidden video of Wisconsin Senate president who some are now calling on to be investigated. Capitol Bureau Chief Greg Newman is here with the latest. Yeah, well, the comments made by Senator Ellis in today's Project Veritas video could have him in hot water in the court of public opinion. It's his previous comments about illegal campaign activity that could land him in a court of law. Some of the language we warn you in this story is graphic. My wife and I have a horse business, and we have to make money you work your ass off so that I can give it to some deadbeat son of a bitch who doesn't want to get up until 11 o'clock. A new video shows Senator Mike Ellis making a number of inflammatory comments to undercover representatives from the conservative group Project Veritas at a Madison bar recently. This comes one day after an initial Project Veritas video, which showed Ellis planning illegal campaign activity by funding a political action committee separate from his campaign. And I will be the first to admit, it doesn't look good. It looks so bad, the woman mentioned by Ellis, Judy Rhodes Engels, resigned as his campaign treasurer Thursday. Ellis claims he never talked with Rhodes Engels about the idea and dropped it as soon as he found out it was illegal. He was involved, uh, or at least contemplating, uh, I think evading the law here purposefully. It's not very believable. For that, Mike McCabe with the watchdog group the Wisconsin Democracy Campaign says Ellis should be criminally investigated. What's on camera suggests strongly a conspiracy to engage in, in election campaign finance fraud. And, and uh, if that doesn't merit investigation, I don't know what does. Along with that possibility, Ellis also runs the risk of a primary challenge. I think that a lot of Republicans think they can do better. In fact, former Republican State Treasurer Jack Voigt tells 27 News that someone contacted him about running against Ellis just a few months ago, but Voigt says he will not run, leaving Democratic State Representative Penny Bernard Schaber as Ellis' only opponent right now. As for any uh, possible criminal investigation, that would be in the hands of Dane County District Attorney Ishmael Ozan. Since Ellis' comments were made here in Madison, Ozan tells us he doesn't have enough information at this point to say whether he could pursue an investigation. So the video is not enough for him right not now? Not yet. Okay, Greg, thank you.